Here in the capital city of Berlin, at the annual European Congress of Rheumatology, a study was presented that found a strong association between certain antibodies and bone loss in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Professor Shett, can you tell me why this is important? This is important by, because um, these antibodies you refer to, these are antibodies against citrullinated proteins. They are a key diagnostic marker for rheumatoid arthritis. And we know that these antibodies are associated with a poor prognosis of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And we did never understand how this works. And this study basically shows how these antibodies influence bone uh, metabolism and basically they cause bone loss directly. So the autoimmunity in rheumatoid arthritis uh, is directly associated with bone damage. The, uh, I think it has direct uh, clinical consequences because usually the concept is that uh, you start out without immunity years before you have the onset of clinical rheumatoid arthritis, meaning joint swelling and pain. And uh, we always consider that structural damage, bone loss, is a consequence of the uh, long-term inflammation of the, in these individuals. Now we revise that concept. We think that bone loss even starts before the disease actually clinically begins because the autoantibodies are there. Before the, clinical, uh, before the clinical start of the disease. And since the autoantibodies directly influence bone, we guess that structural damage can, can even be before the inflammation starts. So that's quite intriguing. And uh, newer uh, data suggests also that this is really indeed true. So first, there, are, uh, there is a high prevalence of, of, of osteopenia and osteoporosis in, in, in people who just got rheumatoid arthritis. So there was not long-term long, uh, term inflammation. They, they did not uh, get glucocorticoids. So there must be something going on in before. And we have also limited evidence that, that healthy individuals with, uh, with autoantibodies, with these antibodies, they do have an altered uh, bone structure. So that revises a little bit the concepts on the interaction between autoimmunity, inflammation, and, and damage, uh, saying that autoimmunity also does not only cause inflammation, but also damage at the same time. This has been Damien McNamara reporting from Berlin.